We have seen through these videos the, some of the capabilities that uh, makes uh, Curera so unique. But, but the developers are not happy with just creating the best SIEM in the world. They're, they're pushing the bar even further. Let me give you an example. So we have seen in previous videos that you know we can detect with our old capabilities when somebody, for example, is doing a remote SSH to your boxes. But what is the question that you are asking is, can anybody use... Can, 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 can any of my boxes uh, be exploited with uh, remote SSH? In other words, is the box configured to allow SSH or SNMP or any, any kind of protocol? Not that anybody has actually used it. Is, has the, word, have the box been configured in a way that would allow that? And for that, would you need to get uh, the, 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 the next piece of information, which is the configuration about the devices. And that's one of the things that Risk Manager... Uh, another module that that can be added to the to the curator family of uh, SIEM can bring to you. Uh, so uh, Risk Manager has the capability of reading configuration information and doing a few more things. So let's start with the configuration information. Let's go to configurator monitor. So for example, if we look at any one of these uh, firewalls, and it can take the information from firewalls, switches, routers, etc. Right. So if we look at, for example, this particular data center firewall, we, and we were to look at the actual configuration, if you were inside uh, that box, it will look something like this. Well, you not only need to speak IP lingo, but you need to understand this very well, and it's, it's kind of hard to follow. So one of the first things that uh, Gris Manager does is actually normalize that into uh, humanly readable language so this is a data access list you know this is the action which is permit uh, on any protocol any source so, so this is something that is far more uh, understandable but it also allows you to do even more than that you can actually for example take a look at uh, actually in fact let's look, take this other firewall and look at it and I want to compare the configuration of this firewall so I'm going to mark this for comparison and I'm going to configure uh, I'm going to uh, actually compare that one with this other f uh, firewall so we click here and compare with mark and here we see you know things that were added they are in green Things that were changed, they are in yellow. And if there were any omission, looks like there were anything that has been deleted, it will be shown on red. So it's very easy for you to actually uh, compare those uh, those uh, configurations. Uh, it also brings into the picture topology information. So you can actually look at your network. And for example, I can and right click on this one and expand that group and look at that uh, additional information and I can expand you know further and you know keep on looking at my different elements and we see that external firewall we just saw in a minute and, and you can do things like okay I'm going to be opening this this new port for this particular uh, new application and I want to run the simulation to see if with the given vulnerabilities that the system knows about it whether I'm uh, incrementing my risk and what, what is the risk of uh, having some sort of attack or simulating an attack and see how far can it go in the topology of the network. So this is the next step in, in, the, in making what is the best even better.